Okay, welcome guys. Um, in this video, I'll be talking about buttons and icon. Now, what are buttons? Okay, buttons allow user to take actions and make choices with a single um tap on the button. Okay, so let's get started. Now, to use button in, in, in Material UI, we have to import it like we do to other um components. So we can import button from material ui slash core slash buttons or we could do the other way the structuring button from at material material ui slash core so um, we will be using this other methods so let's clear this up because this, so then we can use button here as a component oh sorry i just so we can use button here let's button and then let's write a low word okay okay so let's save this and look at it in the browser so let's go to localhost 3000 then we have a button here but it doesn't look like a button right it's like it does a text and then that's because um by default we have a props called variant now by default the variant um is a text button which um, is a button which looks like a text so let's clear this up and let's just make out that button. Okay, let's create our button here. And we'll give it um, a variant of content. And then let's put hello world. Mm, yeah. Now if we go back, okay. Okay, now this is meant to be contained, not container. Yeah. Okay, now we have a contain button. Now the difference between um, a text button and a content button. I mean, a content button is, uh, is meant to be as an I mean, a premier action, like for sign up and all those kind of stuff. Not, as you can see, um, it comes with some um, default um, stylings and all those stuffs and. Um, ripples just like this too and then the last variant we have um, is um, outlined so let's just use this I'm putting the props variant I'm um, outlined now this button is let's call it outlined let's use the number okay then you can save it Okay, so these are the outline button looks like. Um, it's used for um, important um actions too, but it's not like the primary um action um, in a website. So um, our approach compared to the button is, is colors. Colors. Let us give it a color of um secondary. Secondary. Let us just copy this and. Paste it in um, other components too. So you can save that and go to our browser. Now as you can see, um, for the text button, which is the um, the default button, um, it only colors the the text. That's because um, it has no um fill and stuff like that, no border. Now for the um, outlined, um, it colors the the fill. I mean, f sorry for the content and um, for the content button. It colors the background, and then the text is white. And for the outline, then it colors the um, the border, and border color and the text. Let's just check it in our um, in our um, elements here. Okay, so here we can see um for the first button here, which is our in the text button, um, it just gives it um the color of um, of this. That's the text. 
now for the second button which is the um um outline um the um content um, it gives um, a background color as i was talking about and the background color is this and then the the text itself is white um, f, 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 that's right and then the last the last one we have um, um the outlined button the text um, is colored and then the border um, it gives it the same color too right okay so um so um the next prop can pass in is um disabled like when you have a um, disabled button html so you can just pass in disabled and this should disable the button let's check it out now the button is disabled just like you have in the html as you can see it has them um, okay that's the color of so disabled then the next problem i'm passing is um link that's an um, hrf like for link in html but i think so then we can just pass in um, a link for http yes google.com let's save that and then um okay so as you can see here the hr um the link is to google so this button is basically a link and if you click on it's going to take us to google but we won't do that so the next um props can give in is the size of the button let's just okay the size so in, in material you are we have three sizes we have the small the medium and the large as you can see the um so let us give this a small and let us um, the, de um, the default for size is, um, is medium so that means and this button won't change because i'm just going to give it a medium let us give it that and then we can give this size of large so let's check that out as you can see this one is somehow large okay let's just check for, for the first one we have a font size not really okay then for the second um, second button then um let's see okay okay yeah since this one is um like still the same thing then it doesn't change then this third one we kind of have um, um a size large which is what we gave it as um size equals to large and it increases the size of the button okay then next we're gonna be going into um icons yeah icons yeah so uh, to use icons in material ui you can just so there's something okay you can import okay, let's say we want um, a delete icon from at material at material ui slash icons and remember at the beginning of this video we um, installed i mean a package and material your icons now you can use that here again so slash delete okay so um yeah um, i actually have like a lot of buttons in material here actually so um so to give them um, a button an icon so um there's a props called um um start icon so this takes in a proper of an icon so let us give it um delete okay mm, what happened so if you save that we're going to see that um, the icon is going to be at the starting of the button okay, as you can see now for the and um, for it we have an icon um, at the start and the reason the, why the icon is yes because we gave it um, a proper start icon and there's also something called um, end icon which can lost it starts for this button end icon and we'll just give it the same icon called delete and then so it's going to be at the other side right which is the end side of the button so as you can see we have an icon at the end so and this is a page that i opened up recently a material icon which is in that in documentations like they have like lots of icons like thousands of icons like one one run like, 
1000 or something so you can just like use any icon you want so let's say we want them um, a, um, a download icon so let's just so so this icon is um let me get up as you can see it here they have how you can import it which is icon slash get app so let's use this icon in our app so you can just say import so we close um the structure this thing you can use delete delete and we can say get app which is the um, delete icon that we saw in the um, in the docs recently at material UI slash icons yeah okay so we can clear this up and then we will still have the button will still work because um, it, it's in here so let's um let's give this um a an end icon then we can say get up no it should be kind of i think I mean, start icon will be much better for a download button, not an end icon. That we can give it and get up that we just imported right now. So when we we'll save that, we should we should see um, a download um, icon like at the start of this button. So let's just turn this to download things, and that makes more sense. Then let's save that. Okay, as you can see now, we have um, a delete, um, a download icon um, at the start of the button. So that's basically how to use um, icons with button. So let um, me recap. We um, import button, then we use it here, then we give the color of secondary, then um, it takes a proper of um, um, href for links, then it size a and start icons and then we have end icon too and they can save the button by giving the proper disabled now we have variant of content which gives the background color and we have a variant of outlined which gives me a border and a text so that's all for this tutorial see you in the next tutorial bye